Hi everyone, here is Zakaria Amir from GraphicsDA.net and welcome to this very exciting tutorial in 3D Max. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna create a wall, then we're gonna break it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a plugin called Rayfire to do this uh, dynamic for the breaking wall. So let's go ahead and start. At first, we're gonna maximize this viewport, okay? Then we're gonna create our floor, so click box, and then go to keyboard, entry, then I'm gonna add the settings, length, 10 meter, width, 10 meter, the high, minus 0 0.1. Then click create. Okay, then again, I'm gonna create the wall right now. The length is 2, the width is 0 0.05, the high is 0 0.7. Click create. So right now, we need our, just I'm gonna name this floor. Okay, and the other box wall. Right now, we're gonna create the sphere. Okay. The radius is 0 0.12, create, move the ball up a little bit and to the right, I'm going to name it ball, okay, so here we are, then we're going to create a camera, so click control C, so right now we have a camera, so then what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize again, the viewports then I'm gonna click auto key for the uh, and make sure you're selecting the ball then click set keys okay then move the ball behind the wall uh, sorry move the timeline to let's say 20 and move the ball behind the wall and just again click auto key then just for making sure save your uh, file refine test okay then after we do that we're gonna go to create from the menu go to ray fire ray fire open ray fire by the way uh, the link of this plugin is gonna be down in the description for the video okay then from objects we're gonna add to the static objects the floor and the ball and the wall to the dynamic okay then go to physics up and go to the menu option open custom properties then we're gonna click this use custom properties and we're gonna give it a glass okay and in this one I'm gonna add just zero 150 and click add so right now if we click F4 you can see right now the wall with the brick okay then make sure you're selecting the ball and give it a steel okay then after that close this, this one save again go to edit hold what does hold mean that's mean it's uh, this settings is saved okay so if you do a lot of things and you want to go back to the hold position to the hold when you press hold just click pitch and 3d max is gonna delete every option or every thing you did back when you press hold okay so we're gonna now animate this uh, scene so click uh, breaking just make sure the timeline is from 15 and to 95 okay by the way you can slow down the breaking animation from here time scale right now just create the animation so it's gonna take a while okay so I'm gonna show you just the first of the creating the animation then 
I'm gonna cut the other. So here we are. You see the breaking. Okay. So we're gonna wait until it's finished. So here we are after 3D Max animates all stuffs. Okay. Then just uh, if you want to see your animation, go to Tools, grab Viewport, Create Animated, and just set up your output uh, output uh, type, okay, and the image size, and click Create. And wait until the process is done. So here we are. This is our animation. Okay, so that's it. Uh, by the way, <coughs> I'm gonna upload this file of my test and also the test to the internet. So if you wanna download and see uh, what I did in my <coughs> in my uh, file, so go ahead and download the link. By the way, right now if we go back edit and click fetch and click OK it's gonna turn with, to the way that it used to be without breaking so I hope guys you like this tutorial again here's the KD Amin from GraphicZ8.net don't forget to go to our uh, website and see other tutorials uh, we upload to the internet so again I'm the Amin from GraphicZ8.net I will see you next time